Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Good afternoon, Mr. Hanson. How are you doing? You were sent in by uh, Dr. Schick of Flint. Uh, why did Dr. Schick want you to come and see us? I just want to verify his diagnosis. Okay, uh, let me ask you some questions. Uh, when, uh, what uh, was the first trouble that you had? Uh, the first thing was I uh, had an irritation under the skin of my penis. Okay, and uh, how long ago did you have the penile lesion? Oh, well, approximately about eight or nine months, something Okay, down. and uh, what color was it? It was just a pinkish color, I mean, just Just irritation. a little pink patch, eh? Right. Okay, and uh, did, what did you do about that? You just give me some salve. All right. You went to your physician. He gave you some salve for that. Yes. All right. <clears throat> now, the next problem you had uh, was uh, related to your fingernails? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what happened to your fingernails? Well, first I went to my family doctor, and he gave me some pills for it. And when he gave me the pills, about two or three days, I just broke out in a rash all over. With all the right. red spots. And... Uh, you broke out in hives as a result of taking this medication. Right. Do you have any involvement of your feet, or is it just the nails of your hands? I have it on my toenails. I've had that since way back 45. Okay. Uh, it's quite evident that uh, the changes that he has in his hands and also uh, his feet are uh, epidermal phytosis. And uh, <clears throat> he uh, was uh, given one of the... Uh, antibiotics which uh, is specially for this and uh, that uh, he was allergic to and so you stopped that yes sir all right then uh, the next lesions you had were where i had some breaking out on the skin in different areas right okay yeah uh, whereabouts on your skin right here in my wrist on your wrist and where else on the finger here on the finger do you have any on your feet or your legs no, i had a spot on my leg that just where i Irritate, got a scratch with a twig or something, and a couple little spots beside it, and they took care okay. of it. Okay. Um, do these lesions on your arm uh, itch? Yes, sir. <clears throat> and uh, what uh, have they done for those? Well, I went to a skin specialist, and he gave me shots of crotazone in each one of the spots that were like little okay. irritated. Okay. I wonder if we put your hand up here like this, uh, if we could. Uh, demonstrate these lesions that are present on your wrist. Uh, <clears throat> all right, now, uh, we have a, a fairly large lesion here, and uh, <clears throat> this uh, is a flat-topped uh, macular lesion, and there are four or five small uh, satellite lesions. I wonder if we could look at this lesion a little closer. Fine. Uh, we see that uh, the lesion is slightly violaceous. Uh, there are little uh, wisps of uh, keratin that are uh, adherent to it, uh, and uh, in the center uh, they've been uh, flaked away. And then uh, we can see these little satellite lesions, which are uh, macular and uh, slightly flat-topped, uh, which uh, are <clears throat> of a similar character but of smaller size. All right, now, uh, <clears throat> the next uh, problem that uh, you had uh, after that was uh, where? After that, I found my, my gums start irritating. I felt sore. All right. Did they bleed? I did when I brushed my yeah. teeth. All right. They were sore and uh, tender to f uh, various types of foods. Yes. Particularly uh, highly seasoned foods or uh, of high temperature, hot things. Yeah, anything hot or yeah. hard to chew on. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> did you have any other problems as far as your mouth is concerned? And there's one little spot, <clears throat> like in my throat, when I go to swallow, it felt like a kernel of popcorn or something that I couldn't get down. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, how about your lips? My lips are always dry and feel chapped. Like. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, has anything been done uh, as far as your mouth is concerned? Has anybody given you any treatment as far as your mouth is concerned? No treatment, just 
My uh, dentist just looked at it and sent me to you. Okay. All right, then um, we'd like to look at these lesions. Uh, we'll start in by uh, looking at the lesions uh, in your cheeks. Uh, you, uh, I think, uh, indicated that uh, you did have sore places in your cheeks, and uh, particularly you were aware of this when you uh, slept uh, with slept on, my side uh, on your and side and, yes. and pushed your cheeks in against your teeth. Yes, sir. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's uh, see if we can uh, see these lesions. I'll take it. Now, uh, I would like to uh, have you look at this lesion. And uh, you see that uh, there's a star-shaped area here uh, which uh, is depressed. Uh, the, it's, uh, it's eroded. Uh, the epithelium is gone. The area about it is uh, elevated above the surface. It's uh, uh, white. And uh, here uh, it's in a slightly nodular pattern. Uh, but if we look uh, a little more uh, peripherally and uh, anteriorly, uh, we can see these white streaks, white stri. Uh, these are the characteristic stri of Wickham and uh, <clears throat> are typical of uh, lichen planus. Now, uh, if we look at the other side of his buccal mucosa, you see, uh, starting uh, right uh, in the anterior region here, uh, there are numerous striae, and uh, they're somewhat delicate, uh, but uh, you can see uh, a lacy appearance uh, uh, of the entire mucosal surface here. Uh, he also has uh, an area of ulceration or erosion, which is down behind the last molar and uh, would be impossible for us to demonstrate uh, at this point. Now, uh, I would like to have you look at his tongue. And uh, <clears throat> if you stick your tongue out, Mr. Hansen, uh, we note that uh, he has uh, white lesions uh, that are uh, present along the surface here. And as you... Uh, uh, see him uh, move his uh, tongue, uh, you get uh, uh, fleeting appearances of uh, uh, striae that are on the inferior lateral surface. Uh, there's a small white patch on the lateral border. And over on this side, uh, we see that uh, uh, he has an area of uh, uh, atrophic uh, change in which all the papillae are gone, uh, in which there's simply a white uh, plaque-like uh, area. Now if we uh, would uh, look at his lips, uh, we would uh, see that uh, he has uh, initially uh, looks like a pattern of crusting, and uh, but uh, open just a little bit, not quite so much. There. Now uh, as we look at his lip uh, in the midline here, uh, again you see this very fine uh, reticular pattern that is produced by uh, these little uh, anastomosing white lines. Uh, that is uh, somewhat overshadowed in some of the other areas uh, by the presence of the crust, uh, but these uh, areas, these lesions here, uh, are quite uh, uh, classical uh, of the uh, striae that uh, we see in uh, lichen plants. So uh, we see uh, in this patient uh, skin lesions, lip lesions, tongue lesions, buccal mucosa, and then if we then go back to his mouth uh, and look at his gingiva, now close tight, that's it. And uh, <clears throat> on his gingiva, uh, we see uh, that uh, the margin is uh, one that is uh, eroded and inflamed. There are uh, little uh, white uh, flecks that are still uh, present on it. Uh, <clears throat> and these uh, are the areas of uh, superficial uh, erosion. Uh, this uh, process is present in various areas of his gingiva, uh, but uh, is uh, classical in this area, so we'll not uh, try to demonstrate it in the other areas. So uh, here you see the uh, total uh, picture of uh, the uh, process of uh, oral lichen planus uh, and also uh, the individual with skin involvement, which is likewise characteristic. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. You're welcome. 
You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.